Hey guys, it's Celia and I'm back with another video. So I told you guys in my last video that I wanted to share with you how I got these super defined and elongated curls. I did use a new curl combo and I really liked this look. I did have a lot less volume than I typically would go for, but I really loved how elongated my curls were and the overall look. So just stay tuned to see how I achieved this wash and go. So of course you guys know I'm working on freshly washed and conditioned hair and this was filmed literally right after I reverted my hair back from um, straight to curly so you guys will see how much my curls are literally popping back since I straightened it. But anyways I am or I did shampoo and condition my hair again with the Nature's Little Secret Cucumber Shampoo and then their Milk Strengthening Deep Conditioner. So so if you missed that video review, I'll put it down below and also my discount code because these products are literally amazing. So I am just sectioning my hair for wash and goes. For the most part, I usually work in six sections, two in the back, two in the middle and two um, at the top. And yeah, then I am going to get my spray bottle of water and spray my first section down um, and then detangle it with my Tangle Teaser. So I will be using Nature's Little Secret Irish Moss Styling Cream to moisturize my hair. And like I said, I do have a video review on this, so I'll put it down below. But I have used this for a braid out and a twist out. And if you guys can see, it is so thick and creamy. So I was super excited to finally try this on a wash and go. Um, it's just super moisturizing and under wet line extreme gel or any gel at that you definitely need something that is very very moisturizing so that the gel does not dry your hair out Now that my hair is moisturized, I am going on top with my Wet Line Extreme Gel. Y'all have seen me use this plenty of times and it's been a minute so I'm happy to be using it again and bringing it back. But um, yeah, y'all know I love Wet Line because it's very, it, it goes on like really smooth onto my hair. It's an elongating gel and also it just has a lot of hold and gives me good definition and the best wash and goes that are frizz free. So I am just working that into my hair of course. Um, and it does give me nice curl definition but to really get the definition that i like y'all know i am going to be shingling my hair so pretty much i'm just taking small pieces of hair and either twirling it around my finger as i go down or just smoothing it down um i find that smoothing it down gives me more elongation than when i twirl it that gives me um more shrinkage but more curl definition <laughs> but um yeah so this side of my hair is longer than the other that's why i'm kind of twirling it and also i'm not sure if you guys have noticed but i did keep on like going back into the wet line jar and i'm probably going to do it right now <laughs> i did add a lot of gel for this wash and go more than i typically would and that i find is why my results were a bit different than usual um typically wet line doesn't elongate my curls as much as this and um 
give me that kind of weighed down look but since I did use so much of it that's what I got so just be mindful if you're going to use this gel of how much you actually use because this has a lot of hold now um obviously when my curls dry they are going to just shrink up a bit more so it's not going to look like this the entire time but yeah Now I wanted to show you guys this front section um, which is the last section that I worked on just to show you how powerful wet line actually is. I used a lot of gel on the top like I did not even realize how much gel I had used but um, you'll see that my hair literally is like straight. Like my hair is not straight at all it's just from how heavy this gel can be if you use a lot of it. So. Um, to balance that out, you can either spray some more water, which I believe I did. Um, and then also, I just kind of scrunched my hair to help it curl up. But um, that is kind of like how I got the elongation, like I said, using a lot of gel. So if you want more volume, just be more light-handed. So these are my results, well my wet results you guys and I really liked it wet. Let me know down below, do you guys want me to try the wet look? Like I personally have not been a huge fan of it but I will try it if you guys really want me to. But these are my 360, um, my 360 view results of it wet and then of course y'all know I sit underneath my hooded dryer to let it dry for like 20 minutes and then these are the final results and it did take me one hour to shingle um so the final results i did have a cast which wet line always gives me a cast but i just put oil on my hands scrunched it out and since i used that really moisturizing cream my hair was so soft you guys so um I didn't even bother to pick it out. I definitely could have, but I really liked how my hair looked. Even though it didn't have a ton of volume, um, it wasn't super flat, but it was very elongated. Like, I'm going to put a video down below of my first video using wet line because you'll see a huge difference. I used way less of it um, and I had more volume but more shrinkage. So you guys can kind of just tell which look, you know, you like better. I liked this look. My curls were juicy. My hair was soft. It had movement. It was frizz free. 
all of that good stuff and this definitely could last me like two weeks you guys I'm going to put a clip at the end of what my hair looks like I think on like day four or something so you guys can see how long it you know can last you so that is the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and let me know if you guys liked this combo or not